everybody i hope you all had a great us open week i had a pretty good one i had outrights on rom zalatoris and fitzpatrick heading into sunday so was feeling pretty good about my chances obviously uh the charge by scheffler was a little bit scary i was sweating that down to the very end but fitzpatrick ended up getting the job done um, really cool story i mean he became the second player uh, the second male player ever to win the usam and the us open at the same course uh is obviously his first pj tour win his first major win uh, and just to see his transformation of his game over the last couple of years has been a lot of fun to watch. You know, I've been a Fitz truther for uh, quite some time, uh, and he's added so much distance, so much swing speed that was on full display on Sunday. And, I mean, he hit 17 of 18 greens. So, you know, he outlasted everyone else, deserves it. Really happy for him. But we are here to talk about the Travelers Championship, as always. We'll quickly cover the course. Um, I'll give a little you know, insider look at the model, which is available to premium members. We'd love to have you join RG Premium. Uh, but if not, uh, I still appreciate you checking out this video each and every week. So this week we have uh, TPC River Highlands in Cromwell, Connecticut. So uh, pretty close to where they had the U.S. Open um, in Massachusetts. Uh, it's going to be a par 70, only 6,852 yards. So one of the shorter courses that they're going to see on the PGA Tour each and every year. Uh, two par fives and a drivable par four. Uh, you could argue that uh, one of the par fours on the front nine is you know, close to drivable at this point too. It's about 340 on the scorecard. So interesting to see if golfers go with that one as well. Um, the one on the back nine is less than 300 yards uh, with water on the left. Pretty famous hole there. Uh, this is one of the easier you know, courses. Not like super easy, but um, you can definitely score here. Um, and especially if you look at the par three and par four scoring averages, um, they're really easy compared to the other stops on the PJ Tour. The par fives surprisingly don't play as easy as some of the others on tour. Um, like most Pete Dye designs, uh, this isn't a bomber's track, but um, it does have very wide fairways. So 38 yards wide on average. Um, some of the wider fairways that you're going to see on the PJ Tour. However, if you do miss, um, it's a pretty big penalty. It's one of the biggest penalties um, of the 43 courses that I was looking at this morning. Um, so you definitely want to keep it in play. You're going to see a lot of guys, you know, club down off the tee, um, and that is evident in the data. Uh, the average driving distance here is 283 yards, which is well below PJ Tour average. Um, the average driving accuracy about 70%. So again, guys are putting a premium on accuracy over distance at this course. Uh, the green regulation is usually above 70% at this uh, event, so it's one of the higher uh, GIR numbers on the PJ Tour. Um, then I went and looked at the uh, where where guys are gaining strokes, um, whether it's off the tee, on approach, around the green, and putting, and compared that um, for all of the 43 courses that they've played over the last two years. And so um, in order of importance at this course, it's been approach, strokes gain putting, off the tee, and then strokes gained around the green. And this makes sense, um, you know, with this being a shorter course, makes sense off the tee, you know, isn't all that important. And then with the greens being really easy to hit and with scrambling being really easy, it makes sense that around the green isn't all that important here. So I really want to bump up approach, really want to bump up putting. Um, the greens themselves feature a mix of bent and poa. So if you want to look at putting splits, I would I would look at both of those. Because um, it's, it's hard to really just say these are poa, these are bent. Uh, it's a mix of the two. Um, and then I would also look at proximity from 125 to 175 yards. Nearly 45% of the approach shots hit. At this event in the past have been, you know, in the in these two buckets from 125 to 150, one from 150 to 175. Uh, and again, uh, I think scrambling will be pretty straightforward here. Uh, bumping down around the green, you know, last week bumped it way up with it being a difficult course. The greens are small, uh, but they are easy to hit. So that just kind of tells you that the course isn't all that difficult. Um, of course, history does matter here, so I am bumping it up a little bit. Um, in terms of the type of golfer, you don't really need to have any particular skill set. You know, you don't have to be a plotter. You don't have to be a bomber. Um, you, it can be a mix for sure. I mean, we've seen Spieth win here. We've seen Ches Reevy. We've seen Harris English. So quite the mix of winners. Uh, for the different comps that I'm looking at uh, to kind of help differentiate the model from everyone else's this week, I'm looking at strokes gained on short par 70s. I'm looking at strokes gained on Pete Dye courses. And I'm looking at strokes gained on TPC courses. Now, uh, I'm not going to get into the... Uh, ratings so much, but let's quickly go over you know how I'm looking at the stats, how I'm breaking those down. So in total, I'm putting a 18% weight on off the tee stats. I think last week was up to 26%, so definitely a lot less. Uh, I'm looking at total driving off the tee and good drive percentage. Big weight to strokes gain approach. Um, little weight to strokes gain ball striking. Again, I like to use these three columns to see how guys are trending. So 
Somebody like Brooks Kepka over the last 18 months, good ball strike over the last six months, not great. Over the last three months, really struggling. So he's kind of trending in the wrong direction. Then you can kind of go the opposite of that as well. Um, you know, Luke List is kind of trending in the wrong direction. Let's try to find somebody that's trending in the right direction. So let's look at Charles House. So, uh, I mean, he's been on the PGA Tour forever. He's had ups and downs throughout his career. Uh, but over the last 18 months, you know, decent ball striker. He's gotten better over the last six and gotten even better over the last three. So he's somebody to keep an eye on, you know, kind of trending in the right direction. Uh, we have proximity, which again is going to be from 125 to 175. If you want to look at who uh, rates out the best in those categories, you have uh, JT, you have Finau, Glover, uh, Lee Hodges, Smotherman has been a really good ball striker and just hasn't been able to get it done with the short game. He might be somebody to look at this week because, again, I don't think around the green is going to you know, be all that big of a deal. So, I mean, he's good with total driving, really good with proximity numbers, uh, good approach numbers as well. So if he's hitting green, so I think he could make some noise this week. Uh, Seabez is up there, which is interesting. We know he's an elite putter. Uh, Knox, Mito, so those are some of the names that uh, you know I don't mind looking at for their iron play. I have green reg. I bumped up birdie or better this week. Um, and then a pretty big weight to putting. Um, 13% is one of my bigger weights that I've had so far this year. In terms of guys that put the best on Bent and Poa, you have Hughes, Todd, Cantlay, Kokrak, and Snedeker. And then I'll uh, quickly go over the comps um, that I'm kind of looking at. So the whole yardage breakdown, I go through the whole yardage lengths at each and every course uh, and then apply part three, part four, and part five scoring to those whole yardages. So basically it tells you who plays the best on the yardages at this specific course. It's going to be JT, Scheffler, Cantlay, Burns, Power. Pretty solid top five. Uh, comp one, again, is going to be strokes gain on short par 70s. So guy that kind of excel uh, in that range. You have Webb, no surprise there. Uh, Rory, Sungjae, historically known for his uh, you know dominance on par 70s. Uh, Harris English and Jason Day. Jason Day, certainly an interesting name. Guy with good course history here. Uh, comp two was going to be strokes gain on Pete Dye courses. So you have Patrick Cantlay up there. He's got a good track record here. Brian Harmon's got a good track record here. Fleetwood is a guy that uh, you know let a lot of people down last week, so I kind of like him to bounce back. You have Neiman and Keegan Bradley rounding out your top five. And then the final comp is going to be strokes gained um, on TBC courses. So you have JT, Webb Simpson, Brian Harmon, Xander, and Jonathan Vegas. And again, you get access to all of this when you join RG Premium. You can go through and adjust the weights any way you see fit. You can also you know, mess with the comp weights. You can mess with the form weights. Uh, if you want to just uh, you know, attack upside, you can certainly bump up the top 5 and top 10% finishes. Um, yeah, you can make that model your own, and then you can go ahead and uh, upload these you know, ratings that you create yourself into Lineup HQ, which is a lot of fun. You can build lineups with it. And you can go from there. So you can really take this into your own hands and not just rely on other people's data, other people's model. Um, you can really make this your own, which I think uh, is a lot of fun. And you get access to Discord. You get access to my bets, my article, uh, STL's article. We have a value play article. We have the expert survey, the tags, um, the RG premium projections, which are you know really, really good right now. Um, they've made huge strides over the last few months. Jamino's uh, taking those over. So... Yeah, we got a lot of good things to offer. Um, Drew's also uh, Drew Matthews is also you know back on board offering some content, which uh, we're really excited about. So we'd love to have you, and if not, appreciate you joining me uh, for this video. So good luck this week at the Travelers Championship.